Well, good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> We're going to try and fix something on a bike that every bike has a problem with, probably. So, first thing, it's pretty early here. So, first things first, get yourself some cookies and get a cup of coffee. Now, um, the problem I have is, you see this, like, um, what's it? freaking tape see-through tape that they put on your bikes uh, this thing is useless basically because when you try to jump and stuff let me just zoom in a bit you can see right there uh, it goes the chain goes through the tape and it damages the bike anyways so we got to put something in here um, so the bike won't get damaged and uh, I don't want to buy a $20, $30 protection from the chain because that's just stupid so you can call this uh, one of the bike hacks and um, I will send this video to Seth so maybe he will add this hack to his hacks a uh, link to his channel will be in the description so uh, let's get started let me show you what I'm gonna use all right, so let's talk about what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some zip ties. Uh, it doesn't matter if, see, I got some used, some, some were already used. So yeah, another tip while we're doing a kind of a tutorial video here. Uh, when you use a zip tie and you hold something like this, uh, go and cut it behind the head so you can reuse it later. Uh, if you hear some noise, that's my neighbor being an asshole on Sunday morning. Uh, you're gonna need a screwdriver, a normal one, not a Phillips head, so we can puncture the tire thing. I'm, I'm gonna show you later. Uh, some scissors, maybe, uh, and a uh, scalper or uh, some kind of a cutting knife. I don't know. Anything you can cut plastic and tire wood and the main ingredient uh, for me is going to be this thing all right so this is a piece of a cable as you can see here uh, this cable is used for welding uh, machines so or you can find these like uh, where they use generators and stuff I'm pretty sure you can find these to buy them somewhere like uh, for one meter or something uh, I got these for free because uh, they were just laying around at work pieces like this and that's where I got the idea um, I'm guessing electrician electricians when they were like connecting stuff they kind of didn't measure very well so they had to cut off these pieces I got a couple of them and so uh, what inside here <clears throat> you have a cable but this is just one big cable it doesn't matter if it's a cable that has like five wires in there or ten uh, all you're gonna need is the outside tubing uh, try to find one with uh, where it's just a tire you know it's not plastic plastic will work too but the tire is uh, much better it's easier to work with and it's more resistant when the chain kind of hits it so I got like two more pieces and I already uh, cut the, the tube here as you can see and cleaned it up and on the inside and it's all clean and ready to go so the plan is we're gonna put this on the bike around the tube and we're gonna zip tie it now um, I thought I was gonna just puncture one side and then puncture the other side to go under with the zip tie so I don't want to go up uh, on this side over the tube because when the chain hits it I'm not sure if it's gonna cut the zip tie so that's why I want to go under the tube and this is a really you know a heavy duty gum so tire so it's gonna resist for a long time now as far as the measurement goes 
I can show you right here. This tube is about 24, 23, 24 millimeters wide like this. So the bigger, the better. So it will go around the whole tube on your bike. So that's what we're going to use. And that's what you're going to need to follow this tutorial kind of thing. So let's get cracking. All right, so we are here. We are at the mounting stage. Uh, this is my uh, tube that I prepared. So I've drilled. I thought, as you can see, there's a hole in the back here and another hole here. Uh, <clears throat> so the plan is, I'm gonna go put the tube on and just go under with these in the middle. And uh, at the end, I'm just gonna put some zip ties over everything so it would hold better and because i don't think the chain is going to be able to touch the thing over here or back here i think it's going to be just fine so let's get on with it so there we go my first bike hack now I put some zip ties, green zip ties, I can get away with it because my bike has, uh, you know, some green features, but you can use, if your bike has like red colors, you can put on red, uh, try to make it uh, so the tire is black, so it's not very no noticeable. And uh, yeah, uh, please visit Seth's channel, it'll be down in the description. He's an awesome guy and a really good mountain biker. I've learned a lot from him, so that's about it. Uh, leave some comments, like if you like the video, and uh, hope you learned something today. See you in the next one.